In this video, I'm going to go over the M5 Dust Cyclone from Woolet Tools. I'll show you how I put it together, talk about some of the key features, and help you decide if this thing is right for you. So let's get started. Assembly time is only about 20 minutes and everything you need is already in the box. Start by adding the casters to the base, being careful not to over tighten them. Next, insert the hose adapter into the back inlet, making sure it's fully seated. Insert the T into the hose adapter, making sure that the arrow is pointed up, and then use a thumb screw to tighten it. Place the cut sticker on the PVC on the M5 and line it up to the shop back. This sticker will help you identify where you need to make your cuts. Just take out the bolt from the M5 and take it to a, either a miter saw or you can use a hacksaw or anything that will give you a nice clean cut and make the cuts. Assemble the PVC pipe back together making sure to add the T and then install it onto the mullet. Also make sure to add the bolt back in at the bottom. Once you line up the T to the hose adapter they should line up perfectly. Last step is to install the second hose adapter onto the M5 and install whatever hose you plan on using. You are ready to suck. Dust travels through the hose and is spun in the cyclone chamber and then is, it is shot down into the container at the bottom. One common question I got on my Instagram videos is how I emptied this thing. So emptying it is super simple. All you do is detach it from the hose connection on your shop vac and just tilt it over and dump it. It's pretty much the same as uh, dumping over a bucket. To reattach it, you just repeat the same process backwards and you're ready to go. Now I wanted to talk about some of the key features of the Mullet M5. The first thing is that it's roto molded construction. So it's a single solid unit that has less moving parts and uh, makes for minimal assembly time. It features a universal connection, which fits most shop vacs. I have two different vacuums and it worked perfectly on both. And the thumb screws here just lock everything in place and they're easy to remove whenever you need to dump the uh, sawdust inside. So this section right here, which is the curved uh, chamber is how this thing works. Um, so it brings in air from here. It, as it's, it's flowing through here, it's creating like a cyclone that shoots all the dust down and then the um, air continues on into your back. And that helps to keep your, your filters clean and make sure that all the sawdust gets collected down here. The connection to your shop back is the same as the connection on the top of the cyclone. Um, it's the same exact part and it has the same thumb screw. So all you have to do when you need to dump it out or switch uh, shop bags is change, um, is loosen this thumb screw. Also, this pipe here can be um, adjusted to fit any shop bag. And if you need to fit it to a different one, you can purchase some, some PVC pipe to match at any hardware store. So you don't have to be stuck with just one size for your shop bags. The sawdust is collected down here in this container and it has a clear lid um, so you can see exactly how much is building up and when you know it's time to empty. Now that I went over some of the features, I wanted to compare to other models that I have and see how it's stacked up against those. I could sit here and throw some sawdust on the ground and see which one sucked it up faster, but that's not really my intention in this video. My intention is to see if uh, something like this, this M5 is, is right for you. So I'm just gonna give you different examples of how I use my dust collection and um, how maybe it could be uh, improved if you have something like this. So as you can see right here, I have this uh, dust stopper with the five gallon bucket under my miter saw. And right here I have another cart where I use it for all my track saw cuts. And all I do is just do the same kind of thing. Um, I have one under, under there with a, sh a small shop back next to it. And anytime I make my cuts or use my small router, I flip this thing on. Um, so that's another dust stopper I have. And here's another one that I have under my planer cart that um, I don't use that much anymore because it just didn't really work as well as I uh, had intended. And here's another option that I use. Um, this is the dust right uh, hooked up to my shop back and this is what I use for my table saw. Um, this thing does a really good job of picking up 
a, a ton of sawdust. So this, it's a bigger container and it works really well. And it also has wheels. Um, however, it's not really meant to be moved around a lot. And another option is something like this, which is the Harbor Freight Dust Collector. Um, I use this thing on my router table and on my planer and joiner. And so this is like a big workhorse and same thing. This thing isn't really meant to be moved around too much. And it really just serves as function of just using those bigger tools. I guess I just realized I have a lot more dust collection equipment than I ever even thought of. Um, but the reason being is that over time and as you build more things, the collection of dust becomes more important to your health and to just keeping things organized and clean. Uh, as of right now, I have three dust stoppers. I have that dust deputy from Rockler, and now I have this. But if I could go back in time, maybe I would just get one of these and I could have different stations where I just wheel this thing over, hook it up real quick and then uh, do my cuts or whatever I need to do and kind of avoid having all these vacuums and dust collection and all that stuff. Uh, just based on the first initial uses, and um, how well this thing is built. Um, I think this is perfect for someone that has a smaller shop, they're just getting into this, but they wanna invest in something that's gonna help them grow with their shop and as they expand. I have several tools that I'm glad I got early, and this is definitely one of them. So this thing is gonna be a part of my shop now for, for the future. I'm gonna be able to wheel this thing around, make clean cuts and keep this, this area more clean and organized than before. So just based on all that, and how quickly it is to assemble, the production quality, and uh, just how awesome this is and how unique this is. I highly recommend this to anyone. Um, so uh, I will be giving more of an update in the future as time goes on of, of how well this thing is held up. So if you're interested in that, just go ahead and follow, uh, you know, hit that subscribe button and I'm gonna post more stuff like this. So if you're interested, uh, thank you. And until the next time.